Hello, 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 everybody. I just wanted to uh, let y'all know that I made it home safe and sound. Um, the roads actually were not too, too bad. There were a couple spots where I could feel my car slide on the ice. But for the most part, the sun had not melted, but, well, melted a lot of it. And so it was like driving on the road, um, like after it rained. But as long as you stayed where the tire marks from all the cars were, it was okay. In between there and then on all the sides, it was all ice and snow. But, um, but yeah, but it was fine. I did good. Um, it took maybe, maybe 45 minutes longer to get home than normal. Um, of course, the whole first half of the way, um, I was able to drive 85, I mean, like, you know, like I normally do, because speed limit 75, 80, whatever, um, but it was just the, the last half, not even the last half, really the last hour that I had to, um, really kind of watch the roads extra close, so it worked out good, it wasn't too, too, too bad, but, um, anyway, so yeah, so I just wanted to let you guys know that, like I said, that I made it home, I'm trying to get everything unpacked, and Looking for some paperwork to send to my patient coordinator. Um, and it's, the, the driveway's so iced over that uh, I could barely get my car up. But I put it in reverse to try to reverse it up so I could unpack all my stuff. And I can't even make it halfway up the driveway. But yet, all the houses on the other side, the sun hit them. So their driveways are melted. But anyways... So I'll move it tomorrow. It's supposed to be like in the mid 40s and sunny tomorrow. So that will help. But, and I've got some people that are um, wanting to buy my storage because I'm trying to close my storage unit out. So I'm selling everything in it like as one whole. And uh, they um, were going to come today and get it. But, uh, the, they were just worried about the road, so she said as long as it's melted more tomorrow, they'll come get it, so that's what they're going to do, so hopefully that will be done, and then I don't ever have to pay storage again, so, but um, yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know that I made it home, so, and, uh, and I love you guys as always, and I'll be back later, so I, just, I need to get a couple things done now that I'm home, and Get some things sent to my girl at MD Anderson that she needs. And so I'm going through my file thingy right now, looking for it. But, um, anyway, so, yeah. I know I'm bad about not letting y'all know that I made it home, so. I just wanted to make sure that I did that. But, I'll be back. Love y'all. Bye. Oh, before I forget. So, of course, my dad is still in the hospital. He's doing good, but tomorrow will be a week that he's been there. But here's the thing. So, mom talked to the doctor this afternoon while I was driving home. And when I left on Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, whenever, to go to Houston, he was um, st still basically on or requiring 10 liters of oxygen a day. And the doctor had said that he wants him down to six or lower uh, before he would release him. Well, when he, when mom talked to him this afternoon, he said that he wants him down to one or zero a day. Oops. And, um, that, uh, instead of him coming home, that he would like him to go to a rehab, um, to get him, he said, basically, he's kind of, like, immobile right now, which he is. Um, I mean, he can walk and everything, but he said, you know, he he doesn't even get himself up to go to the bathroom. And even at home, he would do that. It's like, you know, because not to be TMI, but he wears, you know, he's 74, he wears pee pads. But he would basically sit there until the pee pad was full or until he realized that he was going to had to pee pee too much for the pee pad to catch it and would get up and, uh, like... It drives me crazy. He doesn't pick his feet up when he walks. So he literally, <laughs> I just want to 
um it reminds me of an old um tim conway from the carol burnett show but anyways and so then by the time he you know, to the bathroom was like oh i had an accident and so i told mom i said he's Ill, he's immobile at home so i don't know how they think that uh rehab is going to help that but so and mom didn't really ask them the doctor like why and what type of rehab so i'm not sure but from her understanding they're wanting to get him somewhere that will get his butt up and moving and just but honestly he's too lazy i don't know if that's going to happen it'd be great if it did but trust me it'd be wonderful but anyways so but he's he's doing good i talked to him uh, after i got home so um he's just ready to come home but like i said the main reason that he even went was just because his um his oxygen had dropped down oh wait i got the wrong folder um so but anyways so I just thought I would tell y'all that while I was thinking about it. But anyways, but I'm going to go and um, I'll be back. Love y'all. Bye.